Hi, my name is Stephanie Joel, and the microbe that I chose is the jelly fungi. The jelly fungi belong to the fungi kingdom in the Basidiomacata division under the Tremelomycetes class, and they have several different orders. Some of the different jelly fungi are Calocera cornea, Calocera viscosa, Dacrymesis palamatis, Dicryo. Phoenix, Spathulara, Myaxrium nucleidium, Tremella folicea, Tremella fusiformis, and Tremella mycentricea. The structure for the jelly fungi is the same as the other fungi under the Basidiomacata division. The structure for the Basidioma division has haploid spores that grow into cottony tangles of hyphae called mycelia. These mycelia usually grow under the surface until they meet up with another mycelium. The two join together to make Plasmogamy and they produce a series of binuclete dicaryotic hyphae that reach above the ground and form the ferning body or basidioma. The cells of the basidioma cannot divide by normal mitosis because they have to produce two daughter cells that eat that have a copy of both parental nuclei. The reproduction for jelly fungi is under the Bicidiomacata division, which undergoes both asexual and sexual reproduction. Bicidiomacata reproduce asexually by either budding or sexual spore formation. Budding occurs when an outgrowth of the parent cell is separated in, into a new cell. Any cell in the organism can bud. Asexual spore formation, however, most often takes place at the ends of specialized structures called conidophores. Sexual reproduction in Bicidiomacata takes place in the fruiting body in specialized structures called Bacidiata. The Bacidiata it's, is itself formed by plasmogamy between mycelia from two different spores. Plasmogamy results in binuclete hyphae, that is hyphae with two types of nuclei, one from each parent. Uh, some cool facts about jelly fungi is that there's different variations of them. And also the jelly fungi are adapted to survive being long dry periods. The fruiting bodies are made up of hyphae with flexible cell walls that allow the cells to expand greatly when water is available. When water is scarce, the cells can contract to form thin, firm sheets that are well suited to withstanding dry conditions. These mushrooms can dry out and rehydrate repeatedly. This allows them to conserve resources by only releasing their spores when water is available. Because of this, jelly fungi can often be found during winter thaws when other mushrooms are hard to come by. And then some jelly fungi can be eaten raw. Poisonous jelly fungi are rare. However, many species have unpalatable texture or taste. Some species like, for example, Tremella fusiformis are not only edible, but they are prized for their use in soup and vegetable dishes.
These are my references for my video, and this also concludes my video on the jelly fungi.